Hi guys, just doing a little video for one of the members on the forum by the name of Cultus that has one of these little phone generators similar to this one and he just wanted to know how it was working or how it does work um, so as he can get his going. So on the front here you can see there's two sets of points um, that I was talking about, Cultus. And on the back with the crank handle you can see we have an angled cutout in the crank. So when you turn the crank, it slides down that cutout. And this on the other end opens one set of points and closes the other. So um, this set of points is actually hooked to one side of the coil and this set of points is grounded out to the shaft at the moment so our coils reading zero ohms across it um, I'm set on the 2k ohm setting when I turn this handle slightly like imitating um, cranking you'll see the top set of points opens between the shaft and the bottom set closes this actually opens the point, uh, opens the point um, and stops the coil short and, and as you can see we have 309 ohms across the coil so that's coil shorted and that's coil open and that's simply just by doing that so when you actually crank it your, um, the movement of your hand because it's not perfect opens and closes these points like that so of course um, if we put it on the little buzzer you can hear it and that's what happens when you're cranking the handle the points open and close causing a short across the coil and then an opening across the coil and when the points open you get a big um, voltage surge just like our good old SSG circuit once the transistor opens, we get that big voltage surge from the coil, which we use to charge our batteries. And this works in a very similar way, just a mechanical setup. So you can see the gap there really good. So that's the coil open and that's the coil shorted. So we'll turn that noise off. Um, and the voltage spikes coming off of that when the coil opens um, what happens even though these magnets are very weak and they are very weak they're battling to lift up a three inch nail um, when your coil is shorted inside a weak magnetic field it starts to build up a very strong magnetic field and when the coil is open the magnetic field collapses and we get our high voltage surge so here I have a 240 volt neon just so we can get some sort of demonstration I'll put one end on earth which is one side of the coil and I'll open this up a little bit and I'll put the other end on the peg that delivers the power and you can see just by a simple crank it doesn't matter which way can't really hold this still and hold the camera but I'll see if I can sit it down here and put something under there like this crank the handle and because of our um, uneven movement from the cranking get that voltage or that current surge try and get that a little better somehow here we get that current surge of course that now lights up simply by the points opening and closing which creates a short and then an open circuit across the coil
So that's how that works. Um, simply by coil shorting. And um, this was done, well there was a lot of hype about it the last couple of years on YouTube about coil shorting and these guys that made this have actually been doing it for over a hundred years just through mechanical points. So I hope that's helped you out a little bit Caldus. Um, they are a lot not so good here but this has of course that bottom set of points and this top set of points when you crank the handle one closes one opens. Now this one opens and that one closes which delivers our coil spike on the open circuit and uh, that's basically how it works. So your magnet strength doesn't have a lot to do with it because it builds up its own magnetic field inside the machine once the points are closed and the coil is shorted just like any generator um, and when those points become open we get our high voltage surge from the coil when the magnetic field collapses around it okay so uh, I'll post this on the forum let you have a look at it and see if it helps you out in any way but um, yeah 300 plus ohms on the coil so you do have some winding to do if you are going to rewind them. Alright, cheers from the tin man.